Hey guys, it's Michael from Craftsme WP, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a product carousel to your website. A product carousel is a great way to showcase a number of different products, and it's just an awesome feature to have on your website. This is a follow up video from my e commerce tutorial where I showed you how to create an e commerce website step by step. So, if you haven't seen that video, then you can go ahead and watch it right after this tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to jump over to the website which we created and it is at letscreateasite.com. Of course, the site may not be there now because I am always working on additional tutorials. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on edit with Elementor and that's an option that's on top of the website. So let's go ahead and edit this page. All right, and once we're here, we're going to scroll down a bit. So we have a product grid here. Uh, let's just check on the WooCommerce. So I want to show you that the free version of Elementor actually doesn't allow you to add a product carousel. So these are all some premium features of Elementor, but of course you would need to upgrade Elementor in order to get access to them. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to add a plugin, which will give me the feature that I'm looking for. So let's pop back over to the website and I'm going to go to the dashboard. All right, and I'm going to go to plugins and add new plugin. And next in this bar, I'm just going to type in Elementor. All right, so of course you'll see the plugin that is installed. This is the page builder here, but I'm going to scroll down a bit and I'm going to install this one here. So it is the essential add-ons for Elementor. And of course it has two plus million active installations and it is pretty much rated five out of five stars. So let's go ahead and install this here. And I'm going to click on activate. All right, so now the plugin is activated. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the website and I'm going to refresh. All right, so I've refreshed the website. And now on the left hand side, let's scroll down a bit. You'll notice that there is this additional feature now in the Elementor Builder. So we have a bunch of different features all for free. So what we're going to search for is the carousel. And I think it may be better if I just search for that widget up top. So let's search for carousel. And let's see if I can find it here. And here it is. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and let's make some space for this carousel. So I'm just going to put it above here. So I'm just going to drag it across and I'm going to release. All right, so here's our product carousel in place. And of course, there is a bunch of different customizations that we can make. So first of all, there is some different layout options. So let's click on option two here. So this is certainly a different look. Let's click on option three. And again, we have another creative and professional look. And finally, let's take a look at option four. All right, and here's another cool design. So for now, I'm just going to work with this one here. Of course, you see we have a bunch of different options. We have a quick, quick preview option. So let's click on that. And this is cool. So a customer viewing the website can click on the quick view option. They can add the product to their cart and they can go straight to the checkout. So this is very, very convenient. Let's look at some of the other options that we have. So the title tag, we can customize the heading. We can customize the title length. We can decide whether or not to show a product rating, a product price, and even a short description. So this is cool. Now I am noticing that the slider is a little bit too fast for my comfort so I'm going to go to carousel settings and let's see if we have an option and actually we do so this is at 2000 at the moment so let's see if we decrease this a bit actually this is a lot faster so let's increase the speed a bit so it was at 2000 originally let's increase this and see if we have a slower carousel and I think this is much more to my liking. Of course, we can also customize the infinite loop. So do we want this slider to continuously rotate or do we just want it to rotate once? We can change that if we'd like. We can also change the navigation so we can use arrows. 
right? Here's our arrows and let's disable the dots. So this is cool. And let's see what else we can do. We can change the direction. So let's go to the right instead. All right, let's see what that looks like. And here's our products going to the right now. We can also change the query. So do we want to show our recent product or maybe we want to show our best selling products? We have a bunch of different options here that we can choose from. So this is all really cool. And if you decide to use this plugin, then you can pretty much customize it to your liking. If you click on the style tab here, you'll see that there are a bunch of different options as well. You can change things like the overlay color. You can change the borders. You can change the box shadows and even the typographies. So overall, you have a lot of control over the editing options. And I think these are a lot more options than even Elementor would provide you with. So you have full control over this. Now, I would probably change this to something like Explore or Best Sellers. So that's a popular category on websites. Let's go ahead and change this to Explore or Best Sellers. Right. And if I right click on the carousel, let me go ahead and change the content to now show or best sellers. So I'm going to change this to best selling products. And of course, now you can see the products completely change. So amazing, amazing features. Now, this isn't the only widget that's available with the essential add-on plugin. If I scroll down here, you'll see that there are so many different options. I'm thinking about creating a few more tutorials to walk through all of these or a few of the ones that I love the most. But if you see one that you really want me to cover, then drop a comment below and let me know. I'd be happy to create another video on one of these features because I think they can really enhance your website. I know a lot of persons may not want to get the pro version of Elementor and even though I strongly recommend it for your website, just having these alternative widget options are great for any website that you create. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Just a quick and simple video coming your way. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to drop a like on this video. Also remember to subscribe because I have so many more videos coming your way. Finally, if you haven't watched this tutorial on how I created this amazing e-commerce website, then you'll definitely want to check out that video and I'll link it on the screen now. I'll see you in the next video.